As we take a look at Kentucky defensively, DJ Parsons from California, Mills, their strongest guy. Nelson Bush will come set to the near side. Rom is back to throw, double pumping. He dumps it off, only one left to go in the first quarter. In motion comes Bonto Jones, back to throw his prop, setting up, and there's nobody there. Uh, so that it's tipped up and intercepted, and that's what Coach Petrino means when he says Brian Brown is thrown effectively, but they'll come right at you, and we've seen that today. First down at the 49, Brown, a nice play action. Oh, and he kicked out it. That's the first pressure they put on, and he goes down. That was a big hit by Trey Mouse and B.J. Parsons. I mean, they met at the quarterback, and that's one of the big shots of the day. Yeah, but this is exactly what Kentucky must have to stay in this football game. That they've been able to get people to it. Welch and Parsons team up that time. Last year when we saw Brown, we got drilled on a blind side hit that he never saw coming. The ball to fake. Coach, what you were talking about. If you're a linebacker, the ball just disappeared. Where is it? Watch Brown's call. He knows he's going to be hit. He just stands there as if he's watching the football game. Some an outstanding linebackers coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers for so many years. Bush, by the way, now is 100 yards. Rushing. Here he goes again. And this time he's inside the 15 to the 14. DJ Parsons out of Irvine, California, there to make the stop. The California kid, they say they never know what he's going to do. Down here. Barney turns in motion. As we mentioned, Kentucky with no timeout for it. Rob on a half roll. Throws it in. Good shot. Albert, your fullback. And let me apologize to Rob Smith. He's that big junior guard, number 52. He wasn't home. He didn't do anything. Yancey gets two on the carry. B.J. Parsons brings him down. B.J. Parsons. Call scores for you is Maryland. For the, getting his chance to start today. Now Harsty picking up big chunks at a time. That'll be a six-yard game. Like a Tennessee player slow to get up on that offensive line. I mean, you're just going to have to stop it, or they're going to drive it down your throat. Foster slipped, but fell forward for a couple. Of, as you look at Arian Foster, remember there was a young man by the name of Martyrio Hardesty. He coaches down, and that last interception will get this crowd uh, heading toward the turnstiles. But a big defensive play on the other end. Out of Irvine, California. Long way. Yeah. Come over here to Lexington, Kentucky.